You see, when people give her, they say, rabbit, no, they run for the time. Uh, except when wild ant don't enter in hole, go pour some out. You see, you get, you get why. You get why. See, I see some once running proper across the road, I want to cross the door, you won't know the meaning of it. <laughs> That's an adage in another language. It's only the gods that will understand what I talk about. Oh, yes, my name is Etidangote, aka Dongla Kumbara de Kumsa, aka Edoni of the Stamina Code, aka the Ben's Code TV. Who they? Yeah, this moment now, I bring you greetings from wherever you're watching or listening to my voice right now. Well, depending on the time. Oh yes, it's still our royal gist too on this YouTube channel. <laughs> we bring you the cocoa. No wonder the band sang, make a tell them the cocoa. Make a tell them the cocoa. Right now, I want to give us the gist that just pop up now. <clears throat> you see this lady they call Olori Toby Phillips, ba? Hmm. Her own is now getting too much to the point that other Oloris have now gang up to say, We'll show you. She's, it looks like she's the youngest. I don't know, in between she and Ashley, but like I say, Ashley, she knew her somehow. I, I, I'm trying to check the age bracket. But like I say, Ashley, she knew her. So other Oloris now said, Okay, this lady, all this year, wing that you have been flying because you're an ex beauty queen. Aside that, what has been your major achievement? She know if you talk anything. So now, you know, before before she wanted to uh, form a clique with uh, Olori Ronke. That's why she she was now having wings that she can fly. <laughs> you don't know that. Her uh, say, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Today, you never touch the sky. You don't remember that side way. You could enjoy it. Oh, yes. Now, Queen Naomi now surprised them. You know, she's a prophetess. And when she speaks something, I see the reason why Oni has never given up because when she's in the palace, one, she prays very well, fervently. She's an aggressive soul winner. She wins soul. You know, the calling has never dropped. You know, the Bible talks, uh, uh, the gift of God is without repentance. Even though she's in the tra tra traditional um, uh, palace, you know that only palace can contain about nine, 90,000 capacity because the royal palace, some people inside that palace, then they're up to 70 years. Some women are 60 or 70 or 90 self serving in that palace. They tell you that the only of a fair is not a yoking playground. So anybody that have the opportunity of going there or being called or addressed as a lorry, they don't joke with it. But for this lady now, we don't know her agenda because Queen Naomi now said, I am coming to spill out all the dealings, all the things that they have been doing, and I will expose you. <laughs> Already Toby Philip now said, Oh, because you have gone out of this uh, this palace now, you want to come and put this and sign in my gary. Now he said, Okay, let me tell you now. From the time that she was still outside. You remember that, they said, uh, they did that interview that she went for in, on uh, TVC? You hear what she said now. All of you heard what she said. That she went to Nepal as based on hookup. So Naomi Anang promised her that when I come to the palace, I'm going to expose and reveal all your secret. That what really brought you that you have Ayenda. You know, she get Ayenda for the, for the palace. I'm talking to you right now. If you discover recently now, um, uh, she and Olori Miriam, they were not, they were in loggerhead because they were fighting for the position of always going to represent the Oni of Ife. You know, but <clears throat> Naomi has now finally said that, except I don't serve a living God. No one has songwriters, I serve a living God. Oh, even Toby, to, uh, Toby Phillips knows saying that true. <laughs> So she's coming to the palace and said, I am coming to reveal their agenda in the palace. That Toby Phillips did not just come there to come and be Olori. If somebody can stand up on, on national television and say, I came based on a call, then you should know. She now look at it and say, I have nothing to lose. I am the Olori. I am not make one of uh, Oni's wife. Now I said that, okay, what is the reason? What is the reason why you marry Oni of herself? She then say, eh, 
you know, she has nothing to lose. Only of if he has many wives. But based on say she is a beauty queen, any man, any man with so much money can crawl for her. She just said, okay, oh. men now, we don't trust men again. For example, now the kind of uh, uh, breaking relationship now, people are saying uh, their wife breakfast now. We don't really understand. So I need a man that is responsible. Even if he's not going to take care of her, uh, for, of me, but a man like Oni of Ife that is very influential, I don't, I don't mind. You know, you know traditional in the, the traditional way is that Oni is going to marry twenty five wives. So when asked uh, Toby Phillips that, okay, now assuming that you are Oni twenty five, twenty twenty fifth wife, what will you say? He said, Ah, I will say the same thing. I got nothing to lose. Marrying to a responsible woman that won't serve me breakfast. Is my ultimate goal though. That I don't care to be the 25th or 26th wife. It's none of my business. But as long as I am in this palace. And I said, okay. For that, Queen Naomi said, I am going to come around so that your real agenda for this palace is not just to marry only. You have a hidden agenda. So my people, that is what we had uh, that uh, the phone call that uh, the alleged that Queen Naomi called to tell Lori Toby Philip that she's coming to the palace to reveal her secret and to expose her of what she has been carrying in mind, her agenda for this palace. So I want you to put your comment in the comment section below and tell us what do you think about this Lori Toby Phillips. Is she really what she thinks she is? Because her beauty, you know, she is beautiful, an ex-beauty queen. So you can you can you can take that from her. She's beautiful, no doubt about it. Yes, she's fine. I don't know because whether she's yellow. I don't know something about yellow people. Yellow people, even though you know fine, you you, you just fair, you divine. So I said my boy, take dango, take it, don't like my kumsa, aka only of this call. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, Mboku Yasa, just subscribe, share, press the notification button so that the ministry will move to the permanent side. I face my front, you face your front, I don't come out. Yeah.